Alrighty, Squallies, how's it going today? Uh, this one's going to be my Trump video, since uh, everyone seems to be doing one today. Uh, alrighty, so let's get into it. So Donald Trump, if you didn't know, used to be uh, the president. <laughs> and... Um, here are the 34 charges. One second. Okay. Here are. What the fuck? Here are the 34 charges against Trump and what they mean. Former President Donald Trump appeared at the Manhattan Criminal Courthouse on Tuesday to formally face charges after his indictment by a grand jury last week. He is the first former U.S. president to be charged with a crime in a case involving hush money payments to an adult film actress. Here's what we know about the indictment, which was just released. What are the charges against Trump? Trump is charged with 34 felony counts of falsifying business records under Article 175 of the New York Penal Law. Falsifying business records is a felony in New York when there is an intent to defraud that includes an intent to commit another crime or to aid or conceal a crime. In this case, prosecutors will have to prove that Trump is guilty of maintaining false business records with the intent to hide a $130,000 payment in the days before the 2016 election to adult film actress Stormy Daniels to cover up an alleged 2006 affair. So, I'm not going to lie. It sounds pretty, pretty damning, but it's nothing new under the sun. And um, Bill Clinton had a similar scandal with Madeleine Belinsky, if I remember, if that's the meme. And he was never in prison for that. So uh, Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg said at a news conference after the court hearing that the alleged scheme was intended to cover up violations of New York election law, which makes it a crime to conspire to illegally promote a candidate. Bragg also said that the $130,000 payment exceeded the federal campaign contribution gap. Under New York law, most nonviolent felonies must be charged within five years of the alleged misconduct. But legal experts say the statute of limitations clock could be paused under certain circumstances, including during the period in which a defendant moves out of the state. Jeez. Alrighty. And here's another one. So he's pleading not guilty in court from CNN Politics, which is a trustworthy media outlet, said nobody ever. Uh, former President Donald Trump arrived at the Palm Beach International Airport in West Palm Beach, Florida, after pleading not guilty to 34 criminal charges in a Manhattan courtroom Tuesday afternoon. Okay. Anyways, if you want to know how I personally feel about it, uh, it's not that different or extreme as you might think. Um, I, I try to, I want to approach this with, like, a rational mind because, um, you know, this is a historical kind of thing because no other president has been, you know, arrested before. And, um, it's kind of, uh, strange that all this is happening so fast, but... You know, I guess that's just how history goes sometimes, and not only history, but reality itself. And, um, yeah, I think it can, like, Trump was obviously one of those guys who thought he was invincible, and um, 
kind of above the law in a sense. So all of this stuff happening right now is definitely not a coincidence. And uh, the more I really pay attention to what's going on, the less I believe in coincidences with every passing day. So, I mean, do I think that Trump, that we'll see Trump behind bars? Um, I hope not. And because then it'll only set the precedent of lunatics going after other people for virtually no reason. And, uh, you know, it's just an interesting weekend for society. So, yeah. You guys enjoy your video and have a great rest of your day.